So this is about the distribution of wealth and other lies and garbage. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. Welcome to another food for thought. Rich here. I'm still in Brooklyn, and I'm really excited. Tomorrow is going to be a great day. Tomorrow is the first day of auditions for Black Conference. So we're going to be holding those tomorrow, which is Saturday. March 3rd, 2018, and the following day, Sunday, March 4th, 2018. And hopefully uh, from the auditions tomorrow, we're gonna end up with a cast for this show. If we don't find everyone that we need tomorrow, we're gonna have more auditions next weekend and until we finally cast the show. So I'm very, very excited about that. So a little bit about why I, why I decided to um, take on the theme, the theme today of Distribution of wealth and other lies and garbage. Well, you know, one thing is I feel like in this, at this time of our lives, well, maybe all the time, all the time, <laughs> all the time in our lives, we as responsible human beings need to be aware of the reality that we are in in order to respond to that reality, in order to maintain ourselves, to maintain the ones that we love, to maintain society, whatever it is that we need to maintain. But there is no way that we can do that if we are constantly shrouded in lies and ideology and mythology. One myth that I want to confront is this idea of the distribution of wealth as people tend to respond to it. And people hear the distribution of wealth and immediately think, oh, communism, and oh, horrible, oh, that's people trying to take my stuff, right? So the idea that distribution of wealth is a no-go, right? It's a, it's a deal breaker. Until you consider the fact that the distribution of wealth has been the way society has been maintained for as long as, you know, any of us can remember, right? So, for example, when they, uh, the, when, the, when, when people decided that they could take portions of the planet and take ownership of them for themselves, and generally that was backed by some form of violence. That was a, distri a redistribution of wealth. The planet belonging to all living things, animals, environment, right? It was all the natural world belonging to itself, went from that state to belonging to individuals who redistributed the wealth so that they owned more than others. And there's been a steady process of redistributing wealth, extracting wealth from the weakest and the poorest and those who have not benefited from certain types of technology throughout history. Right? When the Europeans got to the new world that we now call the United States of America, the Americas in general, when they got here, they redistributed the wealth that belonged to or was being utilized by the individuals who were here at that time, and they took it and they distributed it to themselves. It was a redistribution of wealth, right? When labor was sent from Europe, cheap labor, by the tens of thousands in the 1600s to provide the laboring class. That was a redistribution of wealth. When Africans were taken from their homeland and brought to the United States to serve as slave labor, that was a redistribution of wealth. When immigrants come from other countries where they don't have access to the resources to be able to maintain their lives for whatever reason, usually because there is some other society, some dominant society that is doing something in their society to extract wealth. So wealth is being extracted from dominant societies to societies that, again, don't have access to the same technology, basically weapons, right? And then, so you have those individuals coming from those places and moving into the places where the dominant societies have their hold, right? They're places that the home countries of those dominant countries to search for work to become a cheap labor class for them. And so we have another form of the extraction of wealth from the poor to the wealthy, and a lot of this is coming from, I just read a, a 
I just read an article in the Bally newsletter that I found interesting that I'll put a link to in this video. Perhaps y'all you know how, how I am. So that was one kind of mythology that gets in the way of people being able to respond to the real world because we don't want to redistribute wealth because we see that as a bad thing. Although the contradiction, the reality is that wealth is being distributed all the time. And so I want to spend the next videos that I'm making looking at these myths that help those who are the dominant culture, the dominant culture, the elites, the oppressors in the world to maintain their power and control by having the rest of us believe that a shift would somehow be immoral or undeserved or communist. That's really it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and big